Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, it's been a while since I've been here on the channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything here to the channel. My last official video that I uploaded to the channel was back in September of 2020. And after that, I hadn't uploaded any new content. But I did recently put out a look back of 2020 showing the videos that I did in a year. But as far as any new RC content, I have not uploaded that here to the channel. Uh, now, I've been still doing the RC. I still love the hobby. I still have a great passion for the hobby. But I just had not been able to film anything. And there's a few reasons why I hadn't filmed anything. And I want to talk about that because it really needs to be addressed. Why I kind of just vanished off the channel for a while there. So, yeah. So, let's get into this. All right. So, first off is work. I have been working a ton, all right? You know, I have a normal Monday through Friday job working nine hour days, so by the time I get home, I'm dead dog tired. It's already night, so I really can't get out and do anything, and sometimes you just don't feel like you wanna do anything at all when you get home. Like, I had projects to work on, it's just I just, I, my motivation was not there whatsoever to do it, because I'm just so tired after a long day at work, and I'm sure everybody, knows that feeling when you work all day you're out there in the elements you're dealing with so much stress and everything you, you get home you just, just wanted to just to relax and sit in front of the tv and, and what and do whatever so that was me i was kind of a little bit lazy there but uh you know between my full-time job and on the weekends i have a small mobile auto detailing business where i go around and i clean people's vehicles I've been pretty busy with that. Usually around September and October is my busy months uh, in my area because with uh, you know the beach season coming to an end and stuff like that and people are taking trips to the mountains and stuff like that. People want to get their vehicles cleaned up after going to the beach and stuff like that and going out of town. So I've been really busy with the details. If I'm not doing my details, I have another business, which is my photography business, uh, which is also a hobby and a very big passion of mine as well. I like going out and uh, photographing and doing films and stuff like that. And I've been busy with that, with a couple photo shoots and wedding shoots and stuff like that. So uh, that's one of the things that have been taking me uh, away from the channel as well. But the main reason why I have been uploading to the channel is that I actually been started running out of places to run my RCs. Now, my go-to location that I've been going to for the last 10 years was shut off to me. And I talked about that briefly in the, uh, in the running of Project Humvee there after I did the extensive upgrades to that vehicle. I talked about that my go-to location, the location that I've been going to for 10 years was shut off to me. And that was really hurtful. I was like, wow, this is an area that I've been going to for so, so long. It was a great area. It's very secluded area. It had everything that I wanted from, from rock crawling to trailing, uh, mud, water, a nice open area to do some bashing runs and stuff like that. And that area was shut off to me. And I was like, wow, what am I gonna do? So I tried to go to some of my other locations that I went to in the past to RC at. And now those areas are being built upon or has been con you know, completely shut off to me. And uh, the constant growth that's going on here, we got a lot of construction going on, a lot of uh, new businesses and houses and, and stuff like that are being built, which is great to see my area grow. You know, more businesses means more work, uh, more houses mean more families. It's great to see the area grow, but it's also cutting me out on where I can go and run my RCs. Now, my general area where I live at is not really great for the RC rock crawlers and stuff because I live on the coast of North Carolina. I'm literally, my friends, 30 minutes from the beach, all right? So down here, we don't have a lot of rough and rocky terrain. It's mostly beach, sand, mud, water, stuff like that, which is all could be really fun. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with playing in the mud and water, but I tend to, you know, try to keep my vehicles out of the mud and water because that just, it creates a lot more chaos or headache when it comes to the cleaning process. And it also, we know as 
salt and metal does not are really not good friends at all at all and uh you know that salt water and salt and stuff like that can get into the gears and and, and seize up bearings and stuff like that and just really destroy your vehicle so i try to stay away from the beach area so, uh, but yeah, I was running out of locations and this kind of scared me because I didn't know where else to go. Like all my other locations that I went to that I found in the past are now being built upon. And my go-to location, which was just down the road for me, was so great. And then it was shut off to me. And I was like, well, where else am I going to go? That's like the only other place that I do have where I can run. It's at a local crawling park. Uh, nearby me uh, in Bolivia, North Carolina, which is about a 25 minute drive for me. And it's at the Ditch RC Park, which I featured numerous times here on the channel with the RC Sunday Fun Day videos. This is at a buddy's house of mine. He built a awesome, extremely cool crawler course on his land. If you guys want to check that out, I'll build, uh, include a link down in the description box to check out the Ditch RC page on Facebook there. Uh, super awesome place. I love going out there. All the guys out there are super laid back and fun. And I have a blast. But the only thing is, I only have four vehicles. Well, actually, I only have three vehicles that are capable of handling that course. It is a stream hardcore rock crawling course there. So I only have three vehicles that are capable of crawling that whole course. And the rest of my vehicles, as you can see, are basically scaled vehicles, scaled trawl trucks, uh, construction equipment, tanks, and stuff like that. So not really a great place for my trail vehicles. Like They can handle a few areas of that course, but not the whole thing. And I don't want to put my scale vehicles in that type of bind into that kind of condition and destroy them and stuff because I've worked really hard on scaling out these vehicles and making real you know look realistic and everything. So I don't want to damage those. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh but you know only three vehicles there and so the rest of them just sitting here kind of collecting dust and I was like I need to do something. I need to find another place to run at. You know we do have a few uh parks around here that does have nature trails and stuff like that and uh, bike trails and uh, some of these you know, places are just not worth really going to uh, it's just basically kind of a flat pathway going through the woods and it's not very entertaining to see just a vehicle going down a flat path you know it, it's better to have some obstacles in front of it you know some, maybe some roots or some rocks and stuff like that something to give a little bit more uh, entertainment to you guys. So uh, I, I just, I hadn't gone out to these parks because I, I know them in the past. And uh, with the recent hurricanes we had too, uh, a lot of the uh, trail parks have been closed down until they can get all this you know stuff taken care of. So I really didn't know what to do. And I, and I was scratching my head. I was asking my buddies about this. I was like, I don't know what to do, where to go where would we be where would be a good safe location where i won't get any type of any type of trouble or whatsoever so i just had a hard time thinking about it and so i was like well maybe i just need to take a break and search around look around a little bit maybe do a little traveling and stuff like that to see if i can find another location to run at but uh but i ended up finding a location to run at and it's actually in my own backyard now uh I live right behind a creek and right with that creek I have a nice little patch of woods right there and I started in October actually about the end of October there I started building my own RC park right there in my backyard now this is something that I started doing back in 2018 I started building me a little RC park a place for me to run and I had a good little area going on but in 2019 I had to abandon the park due to a flooding issue the creek was flooding up very bad like it was coming up into my backyard not just my backyard but other people's backyard my other neighbors their backyards were getting flooded and we were all very concerned about this because we never seen the creek flood so bad like it was so <laughs> there goes my phone so uh this this drew concern to us with this creek being flooded up so bad and that uh, you know since i live right here on the coast of north carolina we get a lot of hurricanes and tropical storms and stuff like that and if that creek is not flowing properly and it's flooding up it's going to cause 
great damage to my neighborhood. It's going to flood out my home, everything I work for. I'm going to lose it all. So it drew concern to us. So I got back there, found out there were four beaver dams back there blocking up the creek. So now, with me living in the city limits, you had to go through the proper channels to get somebody out there to assess the damage, to remove the beavers, tear down the dams. And this process took about seven or eight months to get somebody out here to take care of it. But in that seven to eight months, I could not get back there to maintenance my course, uh, my park and everything the vegetation just started growing over took out my trails so everything that i had was overgrown <coughs> excuse me Whew. talking too much <laughs> but uh yeah it was just overgrown and stuff so i had to you know i couldn't get back there in maintenance so i left it alone and then in october of 2020 there i decided that i need to do something i need to i need to have a place where i can run my all my vehicles, my scale vehicles, my rock crawlers, my tanks and stuff like that. So I decided to build my own scale RC park in the backyard. And I started working on that in October, actually in October. And uh, I've been working on it for the last two months now. At any spare time I had, if I didn't have any detailed jobs planned that, that weekend or any photography jobs planned that weekend, I was out there working on the park. So that kind of took me away from the channel as well. That actually took me away from the channel because I was just out there building this thing and uh, tearing down a lot of stuff. It took me literally two and a half weeks to cut down all the vegetation and cut in some trails and stuff like that and get all the uh, uh, build the materials I need to, to build the course, which I'm going to show the park here on the channel uh, shortly. I just got to clean it up and stuff like that. I hadn't been back there in a a uh, couple weeks due to the current rain uh, that we've been having in the area here. It's been raining a lot, so I hadn't been able to get back there and uh, maintenance and stuff like that. And plus, winter and the fall, you know, with the fall and winter months, you know, the leaves are falling. So it's hard to keep the trails clear with all the leaves and stuff that keeps falling. But yeah. <laughs> But I do have a nice little place to run at my vehicles at. And, you know, when you guys see it, you're going to like, wow, I wish I had that at my house. And I was like, eh, you know, it's not, it's not super awesome. I made it strictly for my scale vehicles. I wanted a place for these things to run at. Uh, so, yeah. So, but, you know, and I do have a nice big open area in my backyard to do some fast bashing runs if I want to tech out anything, which... Honestly, I don't have any really fast RCs. Uh, pretty much mine are all crawling slower <laughs> and everything. But, yeah. So, yeah, my friends. So, that's the reason why I haven't been here on the channel. It's just I've been extremely busy with work, my, uh, my business, my photography business. And also, one thing that I had to deal with, uh, we recently... Had a death in our family back in October. My stepdad passed away. He was killed in a car crash. And so for a couple weeks there, I had to be with my mom there to help her during her grieving period and stuff like that. So that was kind of a kind of something that just happened all of a sudden. And it it is it, it really sucks, my friends, seeing uh, a loved one in your family pass away. It, it's, it's terrible. But yeah. But my friends, I definitely have missed getting on here and filming my video, uh, <coughs> filming my RCs. God, I, I'm, I'm talking way too much. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, like I said, I just miss every, everything. I miss going out and filming my vehicles and, and doing the videos and I just miss it all. And I, I really need to get back into it. I need to get, <coughs> uh, uh, yeah. Too much talking. <laughs> I need to end this quick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I need to get back into this, my friends. I've been not very motivated to get back into it with everything else that's going on. And uh, with working so much and stuff and working on the park and stuff, I need to get back into doing the videos for you guys. I love doing this. Y'all love watching my videos. I appreciate it and uh, everything I do. 
Uh, also, recently, the channel just hit 5,000 subscribers. Well, I think last month they hit about 5,000 subscribers. I'm about 5,078 subscribers now, which is awesome. I did set that goal out back in 2020 to hit the 5,000 mark. I did hit it. So that's great. Took 10 years to do. But hey, you know what? Sometimes you just have to wait for good things, right? So yeah, that's good. So thank you all for subscribing and, and commenting. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys and girls. All right. I don't want to, I want to be, <laughs> don't want to not include the girls because there are girls into the hobby as well. I don't ever see them, but you know, there are girls in this hobby. So I, I do want to need to work on that. Instead of saying guys all the time, you need to say folks. That means I cover everybody. <laughs> so that's why I try to, <clears throat> when I try to do these videos, I say, hey folks, hey folks, look at this. That way it kind of covers everybody and not saying, hey guys. All right. But anyway, <laughs> enough of me talking. My throat is getting dried up from talking so much. I'm at almost 16 minutes. So, but I do thank you guys for uh, for tuning in and sticking around with me. And hopefully this year, <clears throat> I will put out some more videos, a lot more videos. I'm going to do that. Just need to get my myself motivated, get in the mood to do this stuff. And sometimes, you know, you're just... <clears throat> sometimes I'm just dead dog tired from a long week at work and stuff. And I just want to relax on the weekends and have a, a weekend to myself where I'm not doing anything. So, yeah. All right, my friends. So I kept y'all here long enough. Thank you for watching. If you watched this whole video, I appreciate it. You are great, my friends. Thank you very much. All right. So, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of mind boggled right now. Yeah. All right, my friends. Thank y'all. And I will see y'all for a great 2021 year. See y'all later.